You're exhausted. I'm exhausted. Just watching that, that was just fantastic. Congratulations, live in session. That was junk. And before we get into the music, I have to say, you know, I mean, attention to detail. I always really appreciate it when bands put their stage clubber on for a radio broadcast. <laughs> we were hoping you were going to say that. It had to be done. Otherwise, no one would know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so, I mean, I have to say that the jumpsuits, all different colours, which are great. They've got tassels on them. They've got a slightly kind of country and western kind of feel to it. But then maybe also a bit of earth, wind and fire. Where were you coming from with it, more? All of those things. Yeah. All of the above. Um, I think when I was younger, especially, on the front cover of Elephant, you know, the White Stripes album. Oh, yeah. Jack White's got this. And I just remember looking at it thinking, oh, that is such a look. So it's... And, of course, Greg's I'm basically just like it. Now, yeah, <laughs> red with the white tassels. Right, so did you go down to your local Wilco's and just buy them off a peg, or have you had them made specially? <laughs> we had them made specially, yeah, our friend Geneva made them so if anyone wants that email address we'll give it out she's DM amazing. us yeah. it's a bit late now I mean I could have done with a, the email address around about two months ago so <laughs> could have had an extra skinny one made up for me but anyway it's too late and I have to say the, uh, I can tell that like, you love what you're doing so that's a joy to behold but, and uh, you know there's lots of dancing and yeah Leah lots of shapes I'm being I'm sorry <laughs> it's amazing to watch don't apologise you do gesticulate don't you? Yeah. you you kind of act the song out the, the noises don't come out properly if I don't do that so yeah you get you're really in the zone yeah. there <laughs> well I applaud you and so Thank I had you. a chat with them um, Simon Raymond of course so from Bella Union just and previously Cocktail Twins just one of the best people around yeah. <laughs> and so he told me how it, you it came to be that you were on Bella Union would you like to just relay the story somebody I don't know Jamie probably knows it best yeah, yeah I mean um, we did a, a Halloween show it was our first ever sold out show in Brighton our hometown and um, we were, I was dressed as Frankenfurter from the Rocky Horror Show. So I was like corset stockings. And I was like, do you know what? I'm feeling myself tonight. It was good. Right. You were Woody. You were Mr. Krabs. And what were you? You were was a nun. A sexy nun. <laughs> um, and I just remember seeing a glint that catch out the corner of my eye in like the third song. And it was Simon at the back. And the glint was off his glasses. <laughs> and then after that, I was like, peeping every now and then I was like is he enjoying it is he enjoying it <laughs> is so he smiling re- you did recognise Simon in the crowd yeah. then right okay because he told me I mean you've just mentioned it there that it was a sold out gig but at that point in time you had no label and you didn't have an agent or anything so how had, how had you kind of mustered up this local support to have a sold out show with all, without you know any of the infrastructure behind you I don't know yeah. oh gosh I, we've all done other little bands and stuff before this haven't we so yeah I think I don't know yeah people in, in Brighton kind of knew us not, right. not to a huge extent, but it's the point where we're like, get all our mates in and we're like, yeah, yeah. if everyone comes, it'll be sold out. <laughs> all, all our friends. But the, the crucial thing is that if you were rubbish, your mates would go and see you a couple of times and say, oh, yeah, should we go yeah, see yeah, congratulations yeah. again? And I've seen them twice. Oh, crap. <laughs> but obviously, that didn't happen. And, and, and a similar kind of thing, I don't know if it's going to end up in the same way and you're going to end up playing fields the length and breadth of the country, but I remember when Stone Roses were massive in Manchester and could not get arrested in any other part of the UK they go to London and get a very small audience they would play to a thousand kids in Manchester at the International and they were going bonkers for them so maybe I just plant that in your mind there that maybe you will be playing in fields in a year's time that would be lovely <laughs> right okay well, buy a field and then you'll yeah. definitely be doing it um, okay so um, when I first played Zeitgeist I did mention Pompoko you, you reminded yes. me of Pompoko who are also on Bella Union were you aware of their music uh, yeah. everyone's looking at little me little bit yeah absolutely, absolutely. we're all um, a bit we're all kind of fans yeah. now yeah they, their second album was um, you know the summer where everyone came out of lockdown and mm. we could finally start getting together I remember I would me and Greg would just go driving in my crappy little car and um, we would have that album on it was like the album of that that year and we saw him in Brighton and it was just another level you know yeah yeah but I mean the great thing is I think you're also I mean beyond that maybe influenced by the the same bands because when Poco uh, when Pompoco came and played for me I mentioned Cardiacs and Jamie you mentioned them just and I'd (laughs) I'd mentioned Cardiacs previously to Chris Hardman who's doing the mix for you tonight thanks very much Chris you've done a great job and so um, you're definitely just kindred spirits and all into the same thing yeah, absolutely. Um, I think there's a lot of 
like we listen to a lot of Talking Heads and yeah. a lot of Prince as Devo. well. Devo, a bit of that in there, yeah. Right, okay. Well, it's a, a great and heady mix. Now, I want to try and work <laughs> out what kind of people you are, right? I've never met you before. <laughs> Go on, then. And I want to find out if you're, like, nice, joyous people or, <laughs> or if you're a bunch of cynics. And I can, <laughs> I can find out very easily. Okay. Right, because you, you're a bit worried now, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Oh, no. I would be. No, your EP is called Woohoo. <laughs> yeah. Right, okay. Now then, is that Woohoo? Or is it woohoo? <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? Now, you can either say sarcastically woohoo, as in something you're really not impressed with, or you are absolutely full of the joys of spring or autumn. I guess it can be interpreted however you I want. Think yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. What does that make me? Yeah. That makes you a cynic. Oh, there you go. It, it, it actually all came from that album cover. It was a picture of our really, really close friend Josh at his leaving drinks for work. And right. someone had given him this balloon that said, woohoo, congratulations, and he's crying his eyes out. <laughs> right. And we were like, oh my God, it actually says congratulations yeah. on the thing. So it's actually named after a balloon that you can go and buy in... Um, Car factory. Card yeah. factory. <laughs> trying, to, trying to muster up the courage to uh, tell Simon that we were going to call our EP woohoo. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah. That took a bit of a... Sorry. So I'm sure he had no problem with that, <laughs> telling you. Okay, so um, is, is woohoo your first release? Um, pardon my ignorance. Yes, EP, it yeah. is okay. Brilliant. All right then. Have you got an LP in you? Oh yeah. Yeah, we're whittling away. Yeah. Our booking agents put a ban on us touring post November, so we can get in and write. You can concentrate on it. Okay. Well, that's <laughs> yeah. a good move. All right. So the tour starts tomorrow. You're playing Signature Brew, uh, Haggerston in London, and then you're uh, you're working with a band called D Mob Happy. I don't know them. They're, They're fantastic amazing, yeah. and right. lovely. Okay, I will check them out, definitely. So those dates with D-Mob Happy. 8th of September, the Key Club in Leeds. The 9th, the Pink Room in Manchester, yes. Uh, 10th of September, Audio Glasgow. 12th would be the Clooney in Newcastle. The 13th, Bodega in Nottingham. And then some more headline dates. The 15th of September, Ramsgate Music Hall. The 16th, the Lanes in Bristol. 21st, the Loft in Portsmouth. The 23rd, the Green Door Store in Brighton. Um, I know that you're playing the... I thought you were playing the Castle in Manchester but anyway that's coming next year oh right okay you're, you're absolutely right though. dangle that carrot <laughs> right okay so you're going to do two more tunes for us now back mm -hmm. to back congratulations and so um, what are you going to do for us in what order we're going to play the EP all the way through and we have done so yeah we'll yeah, play the, it's the last, last two, two tracks, tracks of the EP <laughs> okay Just so we've got, stay, we've got stay out and Easter Island Head that's right thank isn't it you. okay thank you